In this series, we're going to study linear algebra. Right? And I just want to say that before you take this course, you should have already taken multivariable calculus, and maybe differential equations would be a bit useful. Well, it's not essential that you have, but multivariable calculus, yes, you need to already know that for some of the things later on. Okay, so what do we learn about in this course? We'll learn about how we solve systems of linear equations. We'll learn about matrices, vectors and vector spaces, and things like that. We'll learn about applications. We'll learn about systems of differential equations by eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And maybe you've never heard of them, but we'll study eigenvalues and eigenvectors later on in the course. Okay. Now, this course is about these main topics. It's about using matrices and elimination methods to solve systems of linear equations and using these different techniques to solve problems. That's what linear algebra is about. It's got plenty of applications in physics and engineering. And we'll learn about some of those later on in the course as well. Okay, now I want to make a little review here. Here I've got an example. Now, we could solve this by substitution or elimination, but elimination is the key idea in linear algebra, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You should already know how to do this, but it's the right place to start, so we'll do it. I'm going to times the second equation here by I2. I'll call that equation 1. Call that equation 2. And I'm times in this one by 2. So I get minus 2x plus 6y equals 32. And then the idea is to eliminate a variable. You see that we can eliminate x by adding these two equations. Because we get 0 here, we get 7y here, and we get 42 here. So then we get 7y is equal to 42. So then we can solve and say that y is equal to 6. Okay? And then we can substitute y equals 6 into one of these equations. And I'm going to choose the top one here because it's easier. So I've got 2x plus 6 equals 10. And that's easy to solve. We'll get 2x is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 2. So the solution is x equals 2 equals 2. y equals 6 is the solution. Nice, easy solution. And we can solve this system by using the same type of elimination. The idea is to get it. So I've got all these three variables in the first one here. And then just these two in the second. And these three, they're just this one in the third. And then you can say easily, we can solve this one first. And then we'll sub that value in, in second, we'll sub and solve. And then we'll substitute these two values in the second. So then we'll go up to the third, sub and solve. And by using that method you can find x1, x2, and x3. Okay. Now I'm not going to do that because you should already know how to do it. I've explained it and it's something that people have had practice on before. And we'll discuss further techniques in the next video to make this elimination much easier and quicker. Okay, by using matrices. Okay, so we'll talk about them later on.